So this fasting, mnemonic, mim- mimicking diet protocol that, that you've developed, it entails, uh, you know, a protocol in which you have, you know, these foods and, and you're on a very strict schedule. And the idea is that it allows you to eat rather than just doing a, a water only fast. Um, but yet you still garner the same benefits that you would um, that you would experience if you were just doing water. So we, it generated out of looking at water fast originally. Is that correct? Uh, yes and no. Um, and uh, now we suspect, and we have data that we are about to publish, that is not just about the lack. It's also about what we have in the fasting making mm-hmm. diet, right? Um, so, uh, and uh, unfortunately, I cannot talk about that, but it looks like um, there are multiple components that we have selected that have actually positive effects. I'll give you one, for example. Uh, we have glycerol in the, in, the, in the fasting mimicking diet. And glycerol turns out to be a byproduct of fat, but also is what's used in gluconeogenesis to make sugar when the, to, to feed the brain. Now, if you don't have glycerol, the body breaks down muscle, right? Mm-hmm. And so one of the observations in the clinical trial, there was no or minimal uh, loss of lean body mass after three cycles of the FMD. And we suspect that, for example, glycerol is playing that part. I mean, I this is just one of the 66 components that we have in there. And then, and this is just, I can talk about that because we already published that, but, but I think it's going to be a lot more than, than that. And always, though, never trying to hack anything, right? Mm-hmm. Always sort of thinking, in, like in this case, what does the body make during fasting? Glycerol. Okay, then glycerol it is, right? So we're not trying to come up with something, our version of, uh, so we now have somebody in a faster state that has got glycerol. But people in a fasted state already have glycerol. We just make that higher, right? Right. I so, see. so that is our thinking. So it's what we call nutri technology, but it's a nutri technology in tune with evolution, a nutri technology that really respects where this is coming from, understands it, and respects 